The Art of Mockery, Satire and Parody in English Humor. Hello, dear learners. Today, we are diving deep into the heart of English humor with a special emphasis on satire and parody. These are not just humorous devices, but essential parts of intercultural communication in English-speaking cultures. Ready? Let's go! Satire is a literary device used to mock or criticize individuals, societies, or institutions, often with the intention of bringing about change or making a point. The key aspect of satire is exaggeration. Think of it as a humorous magnifying glass that highlights the flaws or absurdities of its target. Examples. Political cartoons that point out the flaws or hypocrisy of politicians. TV shows like The Simpsons that comment on societal issues through their plots and characters. Parody, on the other hand, is a form of comedic imitation. It mimics the style of another work, artist, or genre in an exaggerated way, often to poke fun at it. While satire aims to criticize or comment, parody is more about entertainment through humorous imitation. Examples. Weird Al, Yankovic songs, where he takes popular hits and changes the lyrics for comedic effect. Movies like, Scary Movie, that make fun of popular horror film tropes. Satire and parody are vehicles for social commentary. They allow people to 1. Reflect on societal norms and behaviors. 2. Challenge power structures, institutions, and popular culture. 3. Engage in meaningful conversations using humor as a medium, especially in democratic societies where freedom of speech is highly valued. These types of humor offer a way to discuss, challenge, and even protest various issues without resorting to aggression. 1. Context is king. It's essential to know the background of what's being mocked. If you're unfamiliar with what's being parodied or satirized, the humor might be lost on you. 2. It's not always meant to be mean. While satire and parody can be sharp, they're not always intended to be malicious. They're often a way of starting a conversation. 3. Stay open-minded. English humor, especially satire and parody, can be challenging and might even offend some. It's always good to approach it with an open mind and a willingness to learn. And there you have it, a crash course on satire and parody in English-speaking cultures. These forms of humor are more than just laughter. They're a reflection of society, culture, and the times. We hope this helps you not only understand the language better but also the heart of many English-speaking societies. Keep laughing and keep learning.